<laughs> so John, have you made a video post about your encounter with the robber? I have thought about this same situation and how to deal with this with love without fear. Please direct me. Thank you, John. Choose love. <laughs> I, I always do choose love. It's never steered me wrong. The story of the robber, I'd love, I, I actually probably, I haven't done a video on this before, so this is the perfect time um, to tell this story. So I was doing Renaissance festivals for many, many years, and I, you know, back in the day when emails were fairly new and, you know, we didn't all have laptops with us all the time, um, we used, many of us at the Renaissance festivals used to go to libraries to get online. And myself and my friend Charles went to the library. And we we're in the library and I did all I finished all my stuff and then he uh he was doing his stuff and I walked out to my truck and there was a man outside and he said, Hey, can you give me a ride down to the the supermarket with my uncle and my my car is broken down? And I was like, sure, no problem. And we, I brought up my truck. I went in, I went into the library. I told my friend Charles, "I'll be right back. I'm just going to run this down this guy down the road." And I, I, I go out and we get in my truck. And the guy gets in the truck. And the first thing he does is he locks his door, turns and puts his back to the door and faces me. And he's got his hand in his pocket. And I knew that this was not going well. This was not going to be a, a good experience if, if I let it go the way it went. So the first thing I said to them was, I'm so sorry that you're having a problem with your car. I'm glad I'm, I'm, glad I'm able to be here to help you. Um, I think that's why we're all here in this world is to help each other out and to give each other a chance to, to you know, get ahead in the world. And the man looked at me kind of quizzically. And I started driving, and I was, dri I was driving him to a specific grocery store, and I was driving him to the store, and I said, uh, and he, he starts talking. He says, are you a Christian? That's what he said to me. And <laughs> I'm an honorary sort of person, so <laughs> I literally turned and looked at him. I said, in the oldest sense of the word, which made me laugh inside. And I said, uh, how can I help you? He says, I, I, I just need you to drive me to this place. And then and we, we drive all the way to the grocery store. He says, can you stay here? I'm going to go see if my uncle's inside. And I'm, I'm sitting outside in the truck, and, and I know that something, that this guy is not, not right. This is not a good thing. But I'm like, I'm giving him love. I'm just going to give him love. So I watched him walk into the grocery store, and he turned the corner, and he didn't talk to anybody. He didn't, I could see him. He's peeking out the window at me. He's looking at me. And you could see him thinking, right? Then the phone rings. My cell phone rings. And I, I answer with my friend Charles back at the library. John, where are you? I said, I'm not just dropping this guy off at the grocery store. He says, oh, my God, John. He says, the people in the, in the, in the, in the library just saw you drive off with this guy and uh, they've been having a problem here where a guy's been asking for a ride and he robs people in their car. He says, and, and the guy that you drove away with, he fits the description of. I said, I'm fine. Don't you worry about it. And meanwhile, the whole time I'm talking to the guy, he, he's looking at me out the window. And he, he's not talking to anybody in the store. He's not seeing if somebody's there. He's looking at me and, and thinking. And he walks out the door and he, and he, and he says, my ride's here, and he waved me on. Right? He didn't talk to anybody. He didn't find out whether a ride was there. He just he made a choice. He made a choice not to rob me. He made a choice not to to take this person who was doing something caring for him, and and give him a bad day. And by giving love first, I was able to then change his mind. But I I knew full well why he was in that truck, and I knew well full well. Once he locked that door and turned his back to the door and put his hand in his pocket, I, was, I knew we were about to have a problem. And, and I said, well, I'm not going to have that problem. I'm going to just give him the love that he needs. And uh, so, you know, it was, it was a, a situation where it just turned completely around. And 
I drove back to the library and I picked up my friend Charles and we went back to the Renaissance Fair. And uh, Charles was blown away and they're like, yeah, that, they were telling us in the library that you just drove off with somebody, that, a suspect on, a, on the robberies of, that are happening in their parking lot. I was like, oh, that's great. <laughs> so it made me feel good about it. So I just wanted to share that story because I've mentioned it a few times and this person is asking about it. So um, that, that's the story. And um, I'm, I, I love that story because it does share how love can change pretty much anything. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.